you can get beaten down by uh, bad clients and circumstances that are out of your control. Business of Architecture, episode 237. Tech Nation, I'm Enix Sears, and this is the podcast for architects where you'll discover tips, strategies, and secrets for running a profitable and impactful architecture practice. If you haven't already, get free instant access to the four-part architecture firm Profit Map video by going to freearchitectgift.com. Enter your best email address on that page and you'll get instant access. If you aren't at a computer, you can also text the phrase Profit Map, that's two words, to the phone number 773-770-4377. Today's podcast is sponsored by BQE Core, the award-winning platform that combines time and expense tracking, billing, project management, accounting, and business intelligence. Make work easy with Core. Get a free trial at businessofarchitecture.com forward slash demo. Every year, I get together with my two friends and business partners, Eric Bobro and Richard Petrie, to run our yearly live event where architects come from all around the world to discover strategies for winning better projects and larger budgets. During this event, we put some of our successful client firms up on the stage to share exactly how they've grown their firms and their revenues. And the audio that you're going to hear now is actually from the recording of the 2017 event that we had in New York City. And on this audio, you'll hear James Sizer talk about how he added tens of thousands of dollars to his bottom line in a few months with one simple strategy. And I thought his transformation was so remarkable i thought you would really enjoy hearing his story now there are some visuals that he uses in this presentation to see those just hop over to business of architecture and look for episode 237 if you want to join us at this year's event go to arcmarketing.org forward slash summit okay um my name is james sizer um from norfolk in england a um, little sleepy place a bit cut off really in truth um Oh, by the way, I must say, there's at least one person in this room who thinks you Americans have got no sense of humor. I know you have because you voted for Donald Trump. So we're, we're, we're going we're to uh, uh, try and have a little humor in this as well. Um, so this is, this is the kind of work we do typically, or have done up until now, a lot of historic conservation work. This is a grade two star listed property in South Norfolk, um, a residential customer, complete refer, one and a half million pounds, good job. Um, this was an, uh, another one here, um, a conversion of an agricultural barn to residence, and that's kind of the market we operated in. I, I took the leap with Passive House last year. Um, we've since sort of started doing some Passive House projects too. Um, so to date, I joined the AMI just on the 3rd, uh, oh, sorry, but I'm not used to your system of dates, that's the 10th of March 2017. Um, we all immediately saw the benefits of the system from the, the website portal and the content that was there available for us, um, which was great. I mean, we have had experience with other marketing programs, not entirely successfully on some, <coughs> in some, some instances. Generally, they're generic. They're not to the industry. They require you to do an awful lot of work yourself. There's no ideas, no, nothing presented. It's just you might do this, you might do this. If you, if you were to do this, maybe this might happen. Not a defined system, and that's the great thing about this, the, 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 the academy or the institute for me, is that there's a lot of ideas and a lot of things that are easy to follow full, through with. Um, but you need to take action, and I immediately identified that we needed to take action and invest in this. We'd, we'd made a commitment to the Enoch and Richard, and they asked us if we had any money available to, to, to put something in place, which we fortunately did have a little money at, at the time to, to do. So, um, as I said, we, we undertook these non-industry specific uh, programs before, and they weren't, they weren't that good. Um, we were apprehensive about AMI because obviously, based on the previous experiences, we hadn't uh, been entirely uh, received payback for the investment we'd made. Um, it's somewhat different. It's a novel, novel strategy based on a full marketing plan, and much of the work is already kind of there. You know, you, you, you don't have to put in the same effort. People are saying here it's hard work, it's hard work, it's hard work. It's not half as hard work as a lot of this generic stuff is. Trust me on that. You know, we wasted thousands of pounds on investing in markets and strategies that just never were going to work. Um, 
for the for the re, for a reasonable amount of effort on our part. Um, so how do we get how do we get going with things? Well, we had a trade show coming up. Uh, it was coming up in just a very few days after this this tenth of March um, time. So we immediately identified we needed a monkey's fist. Now there was time pressure on. This here was done in eight hours by myself. I sat down one morning. I started writing. I started writing about Passive House and what it meant to me. And fortunately, I think it turned out quite well. Um, then we decided on a price we were going to have for our needs and options review is what we've gone with. That's the, the AMI language. And we, we stuck to it based on any system with one degree of variance from the, from the direction of travel. You're going to end up a long way away from where you want to be. So we decided to stick with the language that was there. And um, fortunately, so far, it's worked out for us. Um, we've had very quick results. So there we go. Uh, There's a little slogan. These guys like slogans, so do I sometimes. Passion is the difference between having a job or having a career. I mean, we, we all know about a job. We just turn up. We just yeah. go through the run-of-the-mill stuff. A lot of the, the guys that have spoke here today have been worried that um, you know this, the system won't work. And if you don't put something into it, it isn't going to work. No, no system will ever work without a, a degree of effort. Yeah. Well, and an um, we yeah, we put that effort in. Basically, we've them. we've done what we were asked, and we, we're we're starting to see results. So. Um, at this trade show, we got the yeah. armed with the monkey's fist, you know, great. We've got something to give people, something that will connect with them and really explain to them the benefits of a passive house approach in, in their own language, which is something I picked up on quite quickly. You know, it's what Richard was talking about earlier. Yeah. It's no good speaking architectural language to people who don't understand it. It's no, no <laughs> point. <laughs> They're just not going to ever pick it up. So one client was walking by, I challenged them as potential client. Everyone at the show, as far as I was concerned, was a potential client. It was particularly marketed towards self-builder passive house projects. So I stopped them and I said, uh, would you like our monkey's fist? And they said, no, we're not interested in that. Uh, we're moving six hours, that should say, to the north of the country, to a place called Cumbria, it's miles away from where we are. Um, we'll probably employ someone local. I said, well, you know, aside from that, I said, I'd like you to have it because it will explain to you what the benefits of Passive House are to you as, a, as a, someone who's interested in it. And regardless of whether or not you go ahead with us, you know, I think it'd be nice for you to have, which is what we're all here for. You know, we're here to help people, regardless of all the money side of things, as uh, Mona was a little bit nervous about telling everyone. Um, we do like to help people. That's in our nature. So I said, um, take this away. And they did. And... This is what I got back. So we had an email arrive unexpectedly from clients saying they were unsure about their move. That's a good start. You know. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, that's exactly what we wanted to hear. I responded saying that the needs of options review is their best option. I enclosed a questionnaire, which is basically a condensed form of the incoming call script, which is part of what AMI will provide you. And I received the initial re re rejection, but with this key phrase... P.S. Your questionnaire is most thought-provoking, and we intend to go through it anyway to help us focus a little more on what we want. So I thought, great, good, yeah, good for them, fantastic. Um, then they had a change of heart, and they said, well, actually, we don't really know what we want. We're still on the edge. We're wavering whether or not we even move. You know, we don't know what we want. So, can you help us with your needs and options review? On this basis, we thought it was a good idea to also include the possibility of their move to Cumbria and try and flesh out the economics of the whole thing for them. So would it be better for them to stay in Norfolk where we are, or would it be better for them to move to Cumbria? I don't mind either way. I've sold a service now, which I used to do for free. I used to get in my car, I used to run out and go and see people and just say, well, you know, here it is. This is all our intellectual property. Please take it. You know, it's free. No, no, no obligation on your part. Just please have it. Um, we don't do that now. You know, so the LCC... Um, has been the biggest thing for, for our business in terms of an improvement of our circumstances. Obviously, all that money we were throwing away on going and seeing people, if you put that back on your bottom line, you're talking about a lot of money. You know, you add up the amount of hours you're spending out offering free consultancy. You're giving all of your thought process about your design away, and they're going away and they're saying, well, who can we get to do this cheaper? Why, why, why do we need this man, you know? 
he's given us great ideas, but we, we've no tie to him, no obligation, no reason to, to stick with it. So that's what's, that was what's happening to us. But with the LCC, we've had great close rates on actually selling that LCC. Out of, eight, out of nine people that we've had come in in this three months, I've sold eight. And um, obviously, as I said, every penny of that is back money back on our bottom line that we're not now spending out going around chasing after people. So that's a good thing. The one guy who did refuse, he came to the office for a meeting. He sat there and uh, discussed a really lovely project about uh, six um, agricultural barns, conversion to residential developer. Big job. Probably three million quid's worth of construction work. That's pounds, sorry. <laughs> Uh, three million pounds, so that's what, four, thousand, four, four million dollars, roughly. Uh, it's a hard project for me to work away, walk away from, but he sent me an email back saying, I'm not interested in doing your needs and options review. I don't want to pay you to bid for my work. I, I sent him one back saying, well, if you wanted me to bid for your work, you should have said so. I would have told you at the initial meeting, we don't do speculative work anymore. That's not what we're about. So it was a rejection, but and, and for a good job too, but... You just got to let them walk, you know. That's that's the way of it. Um, so it's done for you. Um, I'll caveat that it's not all done for you. <laughs> you do have to put some effort in, but um, there's an awful lot with the AMI um, that that is there, ready for you to seize on, ready for you to get on with. Um, so I'm I'm talking now just three months from signing up, already with seeing results, and that's not happened by itself. That's there has been some input of effort, some investment of money, but we'd already made an, an, uh, an obligation to the, to the guys, and I said we'd do it, and we have, and I don't regret one minute of it. You know, we're, we, we were armed now with a, you know, these are printed, these are not going away. We've got 100 copies of these, the printer holds the PDF, they can just run me another 100 off if I need them. Um, I'm not going to have to invest any more effort in this monkey's fist. It's, it's going to be something that we can use for the business going onwards. Also, I reiterate what the uh, lady from South Carolina, Jane, was it? She said earlier um, that you can reuse a lot of stuff. It's transferable between media. So you don't just have it, your monkey's fist here, that that's dead. It's not. There's, I can pull sections out of this that, that to suit blog posts, other bits and pieces. We can be busy on social media with just the content there is in there. So actually sitting down and writing something is a very pleasurable experience in, in, in itself. You know, we... We're, we're able to do some of the stuff we enjoy. I enjoy telling people about us and what we, what we want to get from our business and how we can help them and making it clear to them in their terms that we are the best people to do it. And that's a nice feeling, to feel that you are. As uh, the chap there I remember earlier was saying, am I the best? Well, as I said to him, it doesn't really matter. But the, 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 I was slightly wrong there. It does matter to feel that you're the best inside. But you have to be able to, from time to time, be able to indulge in something you enjoy doing to, 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 to feel that again. And you can get beaten down by uh, bad clients and circumstances that are out of your control. So we, you know, we, we, we're, we're so much better for having joined this system anyway. Um, it brings sensational results. So forecast 50% increase in profit with no additional overheads and turnover. Back to what I said, put that money back on the bottom line, where are you? You're 50% better already probably because you've thrown half your money away and going to see people for nothing. So uh, I can, as well I can get back to work now. I've, I've, I've been able to do very little design because I'm chasing around after clients. Going to, so we, we've always had a high inquiry level, um, but we've never been able to pick and choose which clients we wanted really. But we, we do now, and um, by, by structuring our appointments, I used to be so keen to go and see people. I used to, every day of the week I'd be out of the office, I'd be, <laughs> yeah, come on, you know, <laughs> bring your work. But not anymore, it's, you know, people are working on our terms. But it does generate more turnover, so not only do you also <laughs> add that money back on your bottom line, but you also increase your overall turnover, which then when you apply that factor of 50% onto that additional turnover, you're, you're going to be even higher. Um, so we've employed three new staff since March. This was kind of, we were on a stable footing anyway before we took this up. Um, we already had the idea of employing more people, but um, 
I think based on what we're forecasting to do now, um, we were certainly more comfortable in in in, um, in doing that. We've, we've we've looked to employ two more architectural staff and one admin, um, and I, I forecast our uh, turnover to more than double. Obviously, with this additional factor of profit applied to that, it's going to make a big difference to our overall profitability, our our recession proof um, nature of us being recession proof, and so on and so forth. Um, it's been, it has become a system in terms of how we've implemented everything that's been shown here, the newsletter, everything. Now within the office, the admin girl, she's asking us almost every day, is there anything else for the newsletter? I want to get, or we're now working on August newsletter, you know, this is not, this is not something that's um, creeping up on us each month. One thing I wanted to mention about this, and I did mention in the video, was a supplier interview. This guy's a mortgage advi uh, advisor, mortgage broker. Now, he's in a good position because he sees people on a day-to-day basis who are looking for a mortgage to do some work. He also, if he provides a mortgage for one of my clients, that's good for me because that means at the end of the day they have the money, which means they should pay me. Uh, so, we, you know, it's, it, 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 I'm able to refer him work. He's able to refer, refer me work. It was a guy that we knew about. But just by doing that for him, he's that grateful. He's, you know, he's actively looking for stuff for me, which is a, a good feeling. Um, so we have a great needs, uh, client experience as a result of this. Asking the questions within the questionnaire and the income and call script are really, really good. Uh, makes the client feel as a, and actually by doing this feasibility stage, you actually increase the, the benefits of the product that you give to your customer. You probably are not asking all the questions that you will do once you implement this because the feasibility stage allows you to take that step back and work through things slower. Um, more target market projects, stronger links with suppliers. I've drummed on about all that. Um, so uh, before I go to questions though, I'd just like to say one more thing. Um, I, don't, I don't think I could have made a wiser choice in terms of signing up to this. Uh, you'll have to forgive me for the quality of the pro well you won't have to forgive me but ask if you please forgive me for the quality of the presentation and so on I've done today because three months in you know we've just been so busy with everything else I'd like to have put on a much more dynamic uh, presentation for you guys but I hope it's been acceptable I hope you've learned that that by doing what's required of this system it will bring results um, that's about all I have to say that is a wrap as a podcast listener, get access to my free four-part architecture firm profit map by going to freearchitectgift.com. You can also get it by texting the phrase profit map, that's two words, to the phone number 773-770-4377. Today's podcast is sponsored by AIA Advantage partner BQE Software, the makers of BQE Core. BQE Core is office management software for architects. Peter Drucker famously said, what's measured improves. BQE Core lets you easily measure your key financial performance indicators, and it's dead simple. Get insights on the profitability of your firm with a beautiful and easy to customize graphical dashboard. Core gives you the power you need to grow your firm and keep your hard earned profit. And they have pricing structures that work for the smallest of sole practitioners to the largest of firms. Learn more and get a free trial at businessofarchitecture.com forward slash demo. The views expressed on this show by my guests do not represent those of the host, and I make no representation, promise, guarantee, pledge, warranty, contract, bond, or commitment except to help you conquer the world. Carpe diem.